and welcome back and um, today we're going to be tying a black cormorant so what you're going to need is some black medium soft wire you're going to need some red thread 80 or 70 UTC you're going to need some black thread again 80 or 70 UTC you're going to need some black marabou and you're going to need some hot pink goose bites. The hook I've got in vice is a size 10 blob and buzzer. Um, I like the cormorants to be quite big. And all you're going to do is start a couple of mil back from the head and you're just going to wind the thread on and come back up. Take away your waist piece. You're then going to get your wire. Again, don't use your scissors to cut this wire because you'll just blunt them. And you're going to catch that in <clears throat> on the bottom of the hook. Okay. You're then going to just hold it to the side and underneath and just slowly wrap all the way up. And just trying to keep it underneath. That way when you go to twist the wire around the body, you've got a really neat body. If you put it on the side, you'll still catch fish, however. I like to have my flies looking neat. So I'm just getting to the end there. And you're going to stop just before it turns on the, the bend of the hook. And you're just going to work your way back up. And keep touching turns all the way back up. Just makes a real neat body in this. And you're just going to come to a couple of mil back from the head. <clears throat> you're then going to take your black wire. And you're going to do two turns at the back. So I'm going to do one and two and then you're going to come up and come over the top so that you're coming at an angle so equal spacing and you're just going to rib the body with this wire So you can do it with um, the small wire. However, I like the kind of the ribbon effect that it gives you on the with the thick wire on this, or the medium wire even. So I'm just going to bend the wire off there after I've tied it in at the head, and you're going to come in with your whip finish tool, and you're just going to whip finish at the head. Take away your piece. So it's at this point I'll use my uh, my lighter and I'll just flash it a couple of times just to make sure there's no straggly bits and make sure it's neat. I'm then going to pop my red thread on just at the head. Now don't pull this to snap it because you're so close and you don't really have a lot of grip in there. And that's it. So you're literally just going to tap it on and nothing else. I'm then going to take my uh, marabou and now I'll just show you how much marabou I actually take. So there's not a lot of marabou at all. You don't want this to have a big wing on it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the marabou there. All right. I'm going to try and do this on camera to show you how I tie these in. So I'm going to bring the scissors up and straight cut right across the back just so it's neat. I'm not moving my fingers and then I'm going to pull away with the other fingers the fluff just so that I'm left for this. Now you can wax your thread however I know that this will hold. You're then in one swoop going to lay this on the top bring your thread back to the, the back point where you want your head to start don't start it right at the eye I'm just going to twist that up sometimes the UTC flattens out and I'm going to pop this on to where I want it okay and then I'm going to take a loose turn just to catch it all in. A couple of loose turns. And then bite down hard. And just till you make sure you've caught most of the wing in. And it should leave you with this. And make sure you do a couple over the back. And that's it. You shouldn't need any more. Now obviously that's far too long. 
the way I take my marabou down is I take my fingers, especially on these cormorants, so these will fit in the competition gauge. I'm going to take it to my thumb and the index finger and I'm going to pop them just on the back of the hook. Right, I'm then going to take my other ones, my other finger, and just pull away, gripping the, the marabou tight. And then what you'll end up with is a nice wing, just like that. If you've got any fibres going too big, just take them away. So nice and nice and tidy. There we go. So again, without any wraps, I'm now going to put in my hot pink bayets. Now to do that, I'll do this side first. You take the angle of the wing. Now these can be tied in in numerous different ways. However, this is the way I'm going to tie them in. And I'm just going to take it off and just double check that that's the angle that I want it. Right, and then I'm going to put the other side on, and you'll see the other side better. Notice how I'm just leaving this in, all in. Um, and I'm just going to measure up, pull the wing out of the way, and measure these up. If you don't get it right the first time, you'll get maybe three attempts at these um, bayets, and then you'll have to get another bayet. And you see I'm just twisting the, the vice round, just to make sure that they are the right size for me. I'm going to knock this one back a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to hold these in place, because they're, they're in where I want them. And five tight wraps. Then holding my thread tight with this hand, I'm going to come in with my, my right hand, and I'm going to wiggle and bend away. You'll get the knack to this. They'll break a certain way. And then that's my bayets tied in. And I'm going to take a couple just to finish the head off here. And then I'm just going to whip finish in. So you don't want to put too many thread wraps on. Again, you want to keep the head small or as small as you can. That thread's just snapped there, which is a nightmare. However, we can fix that. The UTC is kind of renowned for breaking anyway. Um, I'm just going to hold everything back of the head and I'm going to come on with my lighter and just torch away all the, the straggle ends in there. You don't have to do that if you're not using the UTC and if it doesn't snap you don't have to do that. So just like that, that is your black cormorant. I like to put a nice colour head on my cormorants just to give it a kind of trigger point. I'm going to come in with my, my uh, Sally Hansons and I'm just going to pop some varnish on the head. Now what I am going to do, it's going to be hard to see in the camera, is just pop a little bit onto the bayet and the head. And what that will do is that will give it a wee bit of extra strength and the bayet will be attached to the head when the varnish dries and the bayet shouldn't pull out. <coughs> and that right there is your black common. You fish these in teams, um, maybe three on a cast or even two on a cast in a like a humongous and you'll f kind of slow figure eight these when the fish are getting pernickety like i say these will fit in the competition gauge as well because the wing doesn't come off the back um, and they're kind of like fry imitation that type thing um absolutely deadly uh, on their day thank you for watching